Southern Pacific Daylight number 4449 is one of the most beautiful steam locomotives in the world. It harkens back to railroading's golden age when streamlined steam engines pulled famous passenger trains across America. Beneath its brightly painted skirts are monstrous 80-inch driving wheels, capable of speeds up to 100 miles per hour. It's easy to see why the daylight was the pride of the Southern Pacific. The 4449 lives in Portland, Oregon, after being donated to the city by the Southern Pacific in 1958. It was originally built by Lima Locomotive Works in Ohio in 1941 and pulled SP's Coast Daylight passenger trains between San Francisco and Los Angeles. Later, it worked the Golden State Route, the Sunset Route, and a variety of passenger and fast freight trains until being retired on October 2, 1957. The 4449 found new life in 1975 when it was called upon to pull the American Freedom Train to celebrate the nation's bicentennial. Engineer Doyle McCormick was instrumental in the restoration and operation of the daylight, and nearly five decades later, McCormick and the 4449 continued the tradition of man and machine working together. Drawing on footage from various excursions between 2011 and 2017, these are scenes of the 4449 running through the scenic Columbia River Gorge between Portland, Oregon and Wishram, Washington, and also down the Deschutes River Canyon to Bend, Oregon and return. The classic daylight departs Union Station for Vancouver, Washington. As the name suggests, Portland is an inland port along the Columbia River 60 miles east of the river's mouth at Astoria. The 4449 crosses the Columbia into Vancouver, Washington on a 2,807-foot swing bridge on BNSF track. Arriving in Washington, the steam special stops to pick up passengers at Vancouver Station. On a 2011 excursion to Wishram, the 4449 heads east through St. Cloud.
Continuing east along BNSF's Fallbridge subdivision, the train passes through Tunnel 1.5 near North Bonneville in the summer of 2017. Classic GS4 Daylight stretches her legs on the 60 mile per hour track near Stevenson. The daylight pauses at Wishram, Washington before making its return trip to Portland during the summer of 2011. This young steam fan gets his first real look at the famous daylight. On the Oregon side of the river, we view the 4449 as it slowly makes its way through Avery, just west of Wishram. It meets a westbound train of Powder River Basin coal en route to Roberts Bank, B.C. for export. Today's run will be down the Deschutes River Canyon to Bend, Oregon and the steam special prepares to cross the Columbia on another drawbridge. There is a 10 mile per hour speed restriction as the train enters the Oregon Trunk Bridge, also known as the Celilo Bridge. Opened in 1912, the drawbridge spans the Columbia River with a total length of approximately 3,350 feet. We are now on BNSF's Oregon Trunk subdivision which traces the east side of the Cascade Mountain Range. The corridor connects Washington and Oregon with California and is known as the Inside Gateway. Leaving the Columbia River behind, the Oregon Trunk Line heads south through the rugged Deschutes River Canyon. Parting ways with the Deschutes River, the train climbs higher up the canyon at Trout Creek.
Near Madras, the daylight crosses the massive Willow Creek Bridge. With Smith Rock State Park in the background, the train rolls through Terrebonne. A group of fans greet the 4449 as the steam special arrives in Bend. Although the engine is the main focus of the program, the cars that make up this train are equally impressive. The rear car, the Silver Solarium, was built by the Bud Company in 1948 as one of the original Vista Dome cars for the famed California Zephyr when it began running in 1949. Its neon sign puts a great period on the end of this train. The next morning, the fireman blows down the boiler in preparation for the return trip to Portland.
The consist is pulled backward to Prineville Junction, where the cars will be wide for the journey home. During the 2017 excursion, the Pacific Northwest experienced a heat wave with temperatures above 100 degrees and low humidity. A small wildfire scorched part of the Deschutes River Canyon, and this fire crew is busy mopping up, looking for hot spots. Much to the envy of everyone present are the rafters who are truly making the most of the triple-digit weather. As a safety precaution in the area of the highest fire danger, the Amtrak diesel pushes the 4449 through the canyon. Although oil-fired steam engines do not give off the amount of embers found in their coal or wood-burning brethren, this crew was not taking any chances. Back on the Columbia, along the Fallbridge subdivision, a tug pushes a tow upriver between the Dalles and John Day Dam. We are set up at Horse Thief Lake as the daylight sprints west along former rails of the Spokane, Portland and Seattle. Here is the same scene from 2011.
Evening has come to the City of Roses, and with it, a reprieve from the heat. We are back at our starting point at Union Station, as SP-4449 brings its train to the final stop of the day's excursion. We hope you've enjoyed this look at one of the most famous and beautiful steam locomotives ever to turn a wheel. When not on the road, the 4449 lives at the Oregon Rail Heritage Center in Portland and is open on weekends to the public. If you enjoyed this program, be sure to order the DVD Deschutes Daylight SP4449 Portland to Bend. It was produced jointly by 7 Idea and Mark Am Productions and contains this footage plus a lot more. Visit 7ideaproductions.com. There is a link in the description below and a link to the trailer right here. And if you haven't yet, be sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a single program. As always, until next time, thanks for watching.